let's look at this uh, definite integration question again. Uh, it is integration of, uh, find the integration of 2x times x minus 1 to the power of 4 dx. Okay. So, yeah, this is, uh, you can say, the heavier part. Okay. So, as a rule of the thumb, as I've told you, that whichever is the heavier part or the difficult part, you take that as u. So, let uh, u is equal let u is equal to x minus 1. This implies if you differentiate both sides with respect to x, so du by dx is 1, which implies du is equal to dx. So in place of dx, it's pretty easy. You can put du. Okay, now you want to write x. you got an x here. 2 is a constant, so you can take the 2 out. So this implies, or from this you can write u plus 1 is equal to x. So this is all what we want. So this is, these are the three things that we need in the next step. So I'm going to write this as integration, or 2 times integration of x times x minus 1 to the power of 4 dx changes to 2 times, what is integration of, what is x? x is nothing but u plus 1, u plus 1 times u to the power 4 uh, du. Okay, so this is pretty easy. So let me scroll this up a little. So this is 2 times integration of expanding this. This is u to the power of 5 plus u to the power of 4 du. So this is nothing but 2 times u to the power 6 divided by 6 plus u to the power 5 divided by 5 plus c, the constant of integration. Okay, so now expanding with 2. So this is a is equal to, so this is 1 third times u to the power 6 plus 2 fifth times u to the power 5 plus c. Now you want to write in terms of x, so therefore, finally, 2 times integration of x times x minus 1 to the power 4 dx is equal to 1 third times, we know what is u, my u, our u is x minus 1, so in place of, you can put x minus 1 to the power 6 plus 2 fifth times x minus 1 to the power 5 plus c. So this is your answer. Now I taught you how to uh, find the definite. You can check this on a calculator. Okay, I'll just show you the graphical cal calculator part. And I'm going to do this part very fast. So I want to do one more example. So this is what I'm saying is you can put definite integration. So let me. So this is. Uh, so yeah. Okay. So let us use the calculator to find the definite integration between 0 to 1 for this function. So let me delete this. Let me exit out. So you go first to option, then you go to F4, then integration. The function was 2x times x minus 1 to the power of 4. To the power of 4. I'm going from between 0 to 1 because it's the function is defined, seems to be defined between 0 and 1. So you go comma 0, comma 1 and close the bracket. And the answer is this. And I'm not doing the next part. If you put 0 to 1 in this definite integration, you will get 1 15th. I want you to do that yourself. So on GC, on GC, we got the answer 0 0.06. 0 0.066 something okay and if you do it here okay by hand if you do it i want you to do it yourself i'll move on to the next you will find this is 1 15th okay i have worked that out myself i want you to check it yourself so 1 15th when you work that out that will be the same number so 1 divided by 15 is the same number okay Okay, moving on to the next question. Uh, how to integrate this function? Okay, I got t times, 
square root of t minus 2 to the power uh, dt. So this is nothing different than x. So the same rule applies. So we'll say let the inside of the radical t be taken as u. So let u is equal to t minus 2. I can see a t here. So this tells me that u plus 2 is a t. So do we need both of them in substitution? Okay, now from this you can say that du is equal to dt. I hope that's clear. du is dt. So this becomes integration of uh, u plus 2 times u to the power half dt. Okay, so this becomes uh, now expanding with u to the power half. So this is integration of u to the power 3 halves plus 2 u to the power 1 half. Oh, sorry, this should be du, not dt. This is du, du, because dt has been changed by du. Now integrating both sides, sorry, now integrating each of this term. So when you integrate this, you get uh, this is uh, u to the power 5 halves over pi half. I hope you all know that because when, inter you are, when integrating a power function, you increase this by 1. So when you increase this by 1, 1 is nothing but 2 halves. So 3 halves plus 2 halves is 5 halves over 5 halves plus 2 times u to the power half plus 1 is half plus 2 halves, which is 3 halves over 3 halves. Okay, plus c, of course, a constant of integration. So this is nothing but dividing by five halves is same as multiplying by two fifth u to the power 2.5 plus multiplying by two thirds. So you've got a two sitting already there, so that'll become four thirds times u to the power 1.5 plus c. Okay, so you can say therefore, let me change color, therefore integration of t times square root of t minus 2 dt is 2 fifth times uh, I took uh, u as t minus 2 so I can put u as t minus 2 so it's t minus 2 to the power 2.5 plus 4 thirds times t minus 2 to the power 1.5 plus c. Now just to check your answer, if you, you can do the different now, for definite integration you should not do between 0 and 1 here. The reason is uh, it becomes undefined, okay, it becomes uh, complex numbers when it is less than 2 because square root of a negative number is not defined in real numbers. So it's safe to take between 3 and 4. So let me show you this. Okay, so let us check the answer on the calculator. So first let us check it by taking it, by making this a definite integration question. So I'm going to find the definite integration between 3 to 4 of this function, t times square root of t minus 2. I'm presuming this integration is right. So that is nothing but 2 fifth of t minus 2 to the power 2.5 plus 4 thirds of t minus 2 to the power 1.5 from 3 to 4. Okay, so let us put 3 to 4 here. So this is nothing but 2 fifth times 4 minus 2 is 2 to the power 2 fifth, 2.5, sorry, plus 4 thirds. This will again be 2 to the power 1.5. Take away, if you put 3 here, so that is 2 to the power 2. 2 over 5, 3 minus 2 is 1 to the power 2.5 plus 4 thirds times 1, 1 to the power 1.5. My work is really getting messy. Okay, so let me scroll this up. So I'm not using a calculator till now. So this is nothing but, uh, I'll use calculator from this step. So this is, uh, where's my calculator? So let me use a calculator. So this becomes 
this is 2 times 2 to the power 2.5 divided by 5. It's 2 times 2 raised to 2.5 divided by 5 times plus 4 times 2 raised to 1.5 divided by 3. I think that's this bracket. And from that, you have to take her. So now this is nothing but 1. Okay, this is nothing but 2 fifth plus 4 thirds. So minus, I'll go 2 fifth plus 4 thirds. Okay, I don't want to waste time. So this is 4.300. That's what we got. So let me write 4.300. 4.300, whatever. And I want the calculator to work the definite integration for me. So, oops. So I'll go integrate this function that is x times x minus 2 raised to 0 0.5 comma 3 comma 4. The calculator works like a slave. It does hundreds of calculation to get to this answer. Okay. And this is 4.3. So you can check your answer is perfect. And you should be really proud about it. Okay. So this is happy. Okay. See you in the next video.